Hello everybody and welcome back to Google God X Solos. Today I'm going to show you how I can solo my farm. Alright, you got me. I'm just... <laughs> you caught me at like, oh, it's 4.49 in the morning and I'm just doing my Farmville stuff, but... I do have a quick raid to showcase that is more difficult than Tempest Keep, but less difficult than 25 Mali, I think. And once I kill these vermin with my powerful Kung Fu Kicks of Doom, I've got two minutes in my Hearthstone, so I'm just going to fly back. We're going back to Northern Content, and... Uh, was well, since, since we're going back to Northern content, I see no reason for us not to do uh, ten man vault of Archibon. Now, some of the bosses in Vault of Archibon are pretty pushovery because they're pushovery. However, one of them is not as Torvon. Uh, if any of you tried to solo him on like a a non a non Death Knight. He hits a little hard, uh, as we'll see here in a few seconds. So I'm just going to fly us back to Shrine of LOL Moons. I see it. It's that haze behind the view distance I have not set on max, because my computer will kill me. Uh <laughs> Just got done recording to Dishonored, and now on to the third episode of this. I mean, I didn't realize how kind of taxing this was. I mean, it's fun, and it's rather easy to do with uh, open broadcaster software, but it's it's a little taxing. But, it, it, like I said, it's still fun. So, here's to hoping that I don't waste everybody's time and I have to, like, stop recording and splice videos together because fucking winter grasp is like in progress or something. That's probably something I should have checked before. I can check that any time. I'm just a dumbass. Son of a bitch, it is in progress. Fuck. Watch Alliance get it and I just have to like fuck it this entire video. <laughs> but the reason why I'm doing this beforehand and I'm not in the instance already is because uh, A, I'm dumb and B, what am I doing here? A, I'm dumb, and B, the instance is short. It's short, simple, to the point. Takes ten minutes, so that's why I'm doing the kind of color, to <laughs> color commentary beforehand. Uh, we can just fly to Undergrass and see how much time it has left. There's no need to take the stupid portal. Hmm. <sighs> So I'm gonna take this time and talk about you guys. How are you guys doing? Well, if you guys could talk back to me, I'm sure you'd be saying awesome stuff like somebody got a new job and a new car or something. Which I, I respond to as cool and awesome. I got to make videos today. I love videos. You be careful going into Wintergrass because it does, because of Cross Realm Zones, it does like to dismount me, and I hate that. I hate it so very much. It'll be like, hey, you're in Wintergrass, dismount. <laughs> <laughs> well, of course, it'll do it while it's in progress, but, you know, whenever it's not. Come on. Uh, oh, Horde Control. Fuck. Oh, shit. No, no. See? See what I mean? Fuck. <laughs> this is exactly what I mean. Every time I enter this fucking zone, it dismounts me. Alright, it's Horde Controlled, so that means we can go and go kick Vault of Archibald's ass. I'm sure as many as you can see, but probably not care. I got a new guild, uh, Nocturnal on Mulganus. Yeah, go Mulganus. Uh, Late Night Guild. Like eleven server, which is like nine my time starting raid. Amazing! I love, <laughs> I love late night guilt because as I've said, I'm a night owl. I have to be up at night doing stuff. So, <sighs> all 
Alright, here we go, in the vault of Archivon. Now the first guy we're gonna do is Korovon, Korovon, the, the flame guy, he's, um, first boss on the immediate, immediate left on the map. As you can see, the map is, fa <laughs> excuse me, fairly detailed. <sighs> Nothing really special for Korvon. Uh, obviously, he deals damage, but it's not, it's not that much, and this trash is a joke. The uh, Archivon warders are kind of pathetic. And so is this trash. Like, the flame warders are pathetic, too. All the trash in here is pathetic. I mean, this was the easy mode. This was... This was Raid Finder before there was a Raid Finder. Like... So easy, it hurts. Easy. Uh, you wipe in here on any of the bosses in here. You either carrying undergeared people or you're fucking bad. But yeah, Korlon. Not Korvon. Whatever. Um, he's a flame watcher. He does fire damage, obviously. Uh, Four million health. Not too bad. Uh, pretty, pretty low health. I mean, that's about as much health as a uh, average mob boss. Like a solo boss. I'm not blowing cooldowns here, because I know I'll have to use them for, uh, um, Tora Vaughn. <sighs> oh, I'm tired. Oh, well, the fist is usually bad. I usually, uh, diffuse magic it. Because I'm smart like that. And no, flaming cinders are bad. Yeah, like I said, this guy's a pushover. Uh, um, Blazing Fists do damage, and Burning Fury increases his damage done, but it's only by 5% of stack, and if you're not... I mean, if, if you don't kill him by the time it reaches a point where it would be a nuisance, you're either extremely undergeared or you've got a problem. Um, heads up, Tear Gear, for whatever reason, is not venderable. For Math Village King, don't know what's up with that, but don't bother looting it unless it's for your class. Obviously, Monk doesn't have shit, but PvP gear, on the other hand, is vendorable for the very ridiculously low amount it is vendorable for. And again, I'm soloing this content, so it doesn't matter. <sighs> Next, we move on to uh, Lightning Boss, Emelon. Uh, it's technically a tier down from Cor Corlon. He was Uluor tier, I remember that pretty well. Uh, Corlon was, uh, Trial of the Crusader tier. Each of these bosses, for those who don't, no, don't know, each of these bosses came out with a new tier of, uh, rating. Uh, the first boss we did came out with the third tier of rating. This guy came out with the second tier of rating, and the guy at the very end of the map, very right top here, came out with the first tier of rating. This guy's really easy. He, as you can see, he has a joke amount of health compared to the last guy. He just has a bunch of ads that can be annoying. However, the ads don't really matter because A, they can be cleaved down really easily. Like, I, I'm literally kill the, killing them almost strictly with, sw with swift reflexes on my monk. But A, they can be cleaved down pretty easily. B, uh, whenever he does make the ads big, it's easily spottable and blow upable. So, however, it's unlikely for that to happen because, I mean, look at his health pool. He's already almost dead. I haven't even popped cooldowns. Like I said, pushover. We loot you. Valorous crap and valorous crap. <laughs> uh, now we're going to move on to Archivon. I'm going to say Torvon for last because. Well, fuck Torvon. <laughs> 
I gotta have all my cooldowns for Torvon because he literally does that much damage. Mm. And I don't want to, you know, die because of me being dumb. <laughs> and having to come back in here, rebuff myself, wait for my cooldowns again because I'm bad. I'm the worst monk in the game. Ugh. Nah, I take that back. There are worse monks than me. I was running randoms on my death knight earlier. And I had a, mo a monk healer in my group that was not using fist weaving to heal the five men. And like, my death knight's really geared. So he does not take damage for shit. And... Oh shit. He doesn't take damage for shit. And... The monk was just burning all sorts of heals on me for no reason. Or he could just be fist weaving. I could do a fist weaving guide for you guys, but A, I'm lazy, B, that would require me to heal, <laughs> and C, those are shitty excuses. I'll probably put out a fist weaving guide for those who don't know what it is, or just link to the uh, MMO Champion Serpents. Uh, Uh, Serpent's Accord. A uh, very good guide for Mistweaver Monk. Mistweaver Monk is a very difficult spec to play uh, compared to the rest of the healers. It's very different. It's very, uh, it's very intensive. Uh, back to point. Uh, Arkvon, really easy. Avoid rock shards. Good game. <laughs> Nothing else you need to know unless you're a hunter, in which case he will pick up your pet and try to eat it or something and try to stuff it down its fat throat and then you'll be tanking for a little bit but his damage is so pitiful that uh... well you can tank his damage period this guy's harder i'm pretty sure there are better hunters out there that have soloed them him this guy uh... this next boss torvon pretty sure there are better hunters than me that are not only have better gear but are better skilled that i probably have sold him but i just can't on my hunter Uh, and that makes me feel like shit. Makes me feel like baddie. But pretty much what this guy does is he does um, stacking increased frost damage on the raid, or you, and then he also does a uh, frost damage dot on you, which ticks for a lot. But it's dodge and parryable. He summon he, and he also summons frost orbs, and he does like an AOE raid, AOE thing that does damage. So pretty much just a bunch of damages that I'm gonna burst cooldowns through. Ready, set, goes when. Oh, he roots. That's right. That's another annoying thing about the hunter. He roots. Watch out for frozen orbs. I got she capped. Fuck me. You want to kill frozen orbs because they do do damage and you do get rooted and shit. And there's the stacking about the frostbite. I'm gonna put up karma. Frozen orbs coming up. I may have to A, uh, Magic Diffuse. Yeah, I'm gonna Magic Diffuse. But as you can see, as long as you use your cooldowns appropriately, and don't muck it up, you can get him. Oh, I'm gonna die. Huh, <laughs> shit. Shit, where's my energy? Healing Orb, save me. No! <laughs> yeah, you see, this is why Healing Orb is awesome, because 40 energy saving your ass. <laughs> Alright, I'm alive, everyone's alive. That was a <laughs> fault of Archivon. Very rough. Very rough run through Vault of Archivon. 
I, don't know, I usually don't end up with two health at ending uh, Torvon, but I'm I'm bad. But uh, thank you guys for tuning in for this episode of Gugadex Solos. Uh, like, comment, subscribe uh, below. Uh, share it with your friends. Uh, visit my Facebook and Twitter. I, I will be having a like a avatar made up for myself soon. I haven't had the time because I've been putting out videos, and uh, this weekend I'm busy like I'm busy carrying a friend through Cataclysm. Uh, but yeah, like I said, like, comment, subscribe below, and uh, thank you for tuning in. Uh, I will see you next time. Goodbye.